So there has been a whole bunch of fixes added to the PTB as well as making the grind for armor a lot easier. I'm going to go through all that stuff, show you some of that gear and why it really matters that ahead of the update for everyone, they have done this. But good news for Xbox fans who have been in the PTB, the problem with peeping creatures should now be fixed. Pretty much if you scanned certain creatures it would crash the game, namely the bees, but it looks like that has properly been fixed now. They've also fixed the crash that was happening when equipping main hand weapons. Neutral creatures like the ants will no longer aggro you without provocation. Basically, people were reporting that red ants were attacking them even while wearing red ant armor. There was a lot of problems with memory, running out or warnings, basically environments and maybe some bugs appearing blacked out. That looks to have been improved now. Although it actually says it's more to do with the building lamps so it should stop crashing especially on the Xbox One. They've also added a whole bunch more grubs. Apparently they're going to be spawning in a lot more damp areas and they've increased how much actual grub hide you get from digging them up. Oh my god, yeah there's quite a lot. There's definitely quite a lot. So now when you kill them you should get at least three and in some cases up to eight pieces of grub hide. Now apparently they've changed the explosive burr trap art. I can't really tell much of a difference. Oh yeah, there we go. Actually, when you deploy it, yeah, that looks a lot different from the original one. I'm kind of digging it, to be honest. Ain't gonna lie, that kind of looks pretty cool. Although I still haven't changed the wafter art just yet. It also says here they've increased the milk molar HP upgrade values. So you can see here to get level three now, it's going to jump up from 50 to 65. So that's an 85 max health increase. That is amazing. They've also got new proper arts now for the leather plates, as well as the berry leather plates. And of course, yep, the grub leather plates have been changed somewhat as well. It looks like the grinder has also made things a little bit cheaper. They've also slightly lowered the repair cost of almost every piece of armor. The grinder now requires cheaper materials to craft. So I think that's a reduction from two grub hides or three grub hides. Or maybe it's even the mushrooms. I honestly can't tell. All Weaver Juniors are now tier one. Some normal All Weavers in the hedge have been replaced with the All Weaver Juniors. So they won't be as OP as they used to be. Gas Masks now have a sleek upgrade path. So you now get an additional explosive resist when using the Gas Mask now if you upgrade it down the sleek path. That's going to be huge, especially when doing maybe the Mixer event in the Haze. Also, Burgle no longer is going to give the wrong info or talk about the wrong thing when you're speaking to him. And it looks like they have moved the Honeypot. And not the biggest move ever, but they have slightly positioned the Honeypot over more to the right-hand side and less off the edge of the table. Still no actual honey inside at the moment. Unless it's just a case of being closer to it before you can actually see the resource. Which I've yet to do, I've yet to get up there without using cheats, just to take a look. We're all hypothesizing that maybe you've got to blow the lid off the honey to access some of the stuff inside it with a grenade. I still think it's going to be a case of the honey dripping in from the top here. And with that move it does mean the plate has also been moved right next to the notebook. But the can is exactly the same place it's always been. And so is this plate. It looks like they've also reduced the aggressiveness of bees. Or the range of them at least anyway. It's been reduced by 50%. Daggers are no longer going to revert to chopping damage after upgrading to plus 6. And pilot turret ammo has a higher velocity. Now that's one we can try out since I've still got my turret right here. So it certainly shoots a bit quicker but it's still just a wee bit too slow to actually fire. I think that was what most people's complaints were. That you just weren't getting enough out of it. And definitely I feel like the aiming could definitely do a bit more work as it just doesn't seem to be hitting anywhere close to where the actual uh, marker is. Apparently gaining a small chunk of stamina with parry master while exhausted will correctly fully restore your stamina after exhaustion delay continues. And if you enter the turret from third person camera no longer having the aim cursor offset when in the turret. Got some new audio when holding the charcoal torch. It's meant to be a bit more of a sort of burning sound. And the ASL interface graphics no longer stretch vertically on some languages. So hopefully that's put to mind at ease some players that felt the grind for the armor was just too much. Specifically getting hold of all of the grub. It's pretty easy to go and get loads of berry. And even the pupa relatively how much you need isn't that hard. 
But certainly the grub level was something that I think definitely needed a boost. And we've definitely got that now. There's grubs absolutely everywhere. Getting a chance between 3 and 8, I think it's done a really good job. There's still so much yet to still discover about this update. How these raids actually work. Defenses for each and one of the mixers properly. And so much more. So I'll be there every step of the way. As soon as we get news about the update, I'll let you guys know. We think that it is still going to be just a regular one week cadence. So the update should be going live either Wednesday or Thursday. But I personally feel like they could probably do with it being in actual TBB another week. Just to help get more reports of balance, more testing done and see how that really goes. But I've got a feeling they probably will just launch it for everyone. So no times, no exact dates on that. But as soon as we're here, I'll let you guys know. And once the full update is here for everyone, I will do a special patch notes video taking into account all the changes they've made during the PTB and look out for more fresh guides, taking a look at all the new stuff they may have added by then or any other big changes to the armor. I'm sure it's still gonna need some work. That's why I've not really done any armor guides just yet. I'm still waiting for the final update. So until next time, Rat Bags, I'll catch you later.